Now let's jump into the post-analysis perspective, where you can explore intuitive visualizations of the process data. The analysis overview and analysis details sections offer experiment-wide information and plots to give an idea about the characteristics of your dataset. The identification node shows a summary of the number, precursors, peptides, and proteins that were identified and quantified along with the other general metrics about the experimental outcome. Similar information is available in graphical form in run identifications. Right-clicking on this plot allows you to choose which level to group by. The ranked protein groups plot displays all identified protein groups ranked according to their quantitative value. You can choose to label all candidates of the differential abundance analysis or highlight a custom selection. The distribution of protein abundances across different experimental runs is represented by red quantitative variance indicators. The normalization node contains box plots of the response for each individual run before and after normalization. The option to display data as violin plots is accessed by right-clicking. The coefficients of variation plot shows the distribution of CV values for each of the experimental conditions. By right-clicking on the plot, the CV base can be changed from precursor to peptide, protein or protein group. Also, you can select to show data per sample or across the whole experiment. Similarly, the data points per peak in each condition can be visualized in the data points per peak node. Right-clicking allows the user to group the data by run, condition or experiment. Plots related to the behavior of the discriminant scores of the target and decoy distribution estimations can be found in the scoring histogram section. This behavior defines reported Q-values and sensitivity. The label-free node offers scoring histograms based on precursor scores for each run, while the protein FDR histograms are based on the protein group C scores. Under the Specialized Workflow section, SpectraNode features a dedicated LFQ bench plot for benchmark experiments involving mixed species samples. This plot will be automatically generated if more than one species is detected in the selected FASTA files. Expected ratios are represented by dashed lines and can be set by right-clicking on the plot. The distributions on the right side of the plot show how the experimental values deviate from expected ratios. Plots related to the differential abundance testing performed in SpectraNode can be viewed in the differential abundance section. Proteins that are differentially regulated between experimental conditions can be found in the candidates list. By default, this table is filtered by a Q-value of 0.05 and an absolute average log-to ratio of 0.58, but you can change these filters based on the preferred cutoff values. Corresponding plots of the candidates are shown on the right side. The principal component analysis plot shows clustering of the samples based on their protein profiles. The Volcano plot shows the results of the differential abundance test by plotting the log to fault changes against the significance level. Candidates appear in red and by selecting one of the boxes above the plot, you can display annotations for a differential analysis candidates or a custom selection of proteins. A heat map showing the hierarchical clustering of runs across the conditions is also available. Similarly, for experiments where the PTM workflow setting is enabled, the results of the differential abundance testing on a modification set level will show up in the PTM analysis section. The candidates table contains a list of differentially abundant modification sites with their corresponding log to fault changes and Q values. The identification key for the specific modification site and multiplicity can be found in the group column. Lastly, the modification enrichment plot visualizes the percentage of all identified precursors that are carrying a selected modification in each of the experimental runs. If the modification can occur on different amino acids, the plot will show percentage of the precursors carrying that modification on each of those amino acids. This plot is dedicated to experiments conducted with a step to enrich modified peptides.